Hi guys, Mr. K here today, and I have a friend with me, Critter. Say hello, Critter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah hello, Critter. Uh, wait, I'm Critter. That's right, you are. Now, hey, um, you know, it's been a while since we've done some activity with our vowel bats. Vowel bats? Uh, what are those? Well, take a look. We have them right here. A E I O U. No, not me. No, that's the letter U. Now, Critter, if we do the vowel bats, we know the sounds. These are the special letters that show up a lot in our words. Mm. Mm. Uh. Tell them to go away then. No, we need them to read words. So A says A and it says A. E says E, E, and E. I says I and I. O says A and O. And you says uh and you. Hmm. How do I use them? Uh well, you we use them in our words. Now today we're critter, we're really gonna be focusing on this one right here. Oh, and you remember what I said O says? Ah! That's right, it says ah, and we're gonna need that to read our story this week. Our story is called The Hot Pot. Now you know why we need that O. Oh. <laughs> Don't touch the hot pot. <laughs> That's good advice by me. <laughs> okay, now, Critter, I'm gonna put you down for a bit so that I can play around with some, wor uh, some letters and some words, is that okay? Uh, okay, I'll just go sit down over there, uh, and I'll just watch and see what you do. Okay, yeah, you, you, yeah, here, 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 get comfortable over there. Okay, good, good, you're fine. Okay, now, boys and girls, before we start playing around with the letters, um, and making words that, that have O in the middle, ah we're gonna be looking at some sight words that are going to be in our story today. So, we need to focus on these. A, we know that sight word, right? Do, D-O, do. Good, how about this one? Is, is shows up in our story too. Like. L-I-K-E. Now, in our story today, there's an S on the end. Likes. Likes. So, look for that, okay? Said. S-A-I-D. Said. And we're going to... There are, there are some people who are going to say things in our story, for sure. The. T-H-E. The. Two. T O two with with W I T H and there's A again. Now I think there's one more that's in there that I didn't have in here. I think it's it. We'll we'll look for it. The one that I I don't have the card. I'm missing it. I'm not sure. Okay, so I said we were gonna play around with some letters here. And we are, I've got some letters right down here. Let's see if we can play around with this. Now, this is the word family that our story is focusing on. Ah, t, ah, t, ah, t, ah, t. See how we blended that? Ah, t, going in that direction. Now, if I put this, let's see, let's do this one. If I put this here, we say the sound, hot, hot, hot. 
See, we do each individual sound and then we kind of just go a little quicker as we go through and blend them. Hot, that's gonna be in our story. And then this one. Pot, pot, the hot pot. How about this one? If I put this. G, 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 ot, g, ot, got, got. And then this one. N, ot, not, not. Here's one. Are you getting all this critter? Mm. Oh, ot. Lot. Good. Now, there's a trick. There's some tricky ones. I'm going to take these out of here. Let's see if I can find that one that I needed. I think it's this one. Now, if I put this letter here, and then I put this letter next to it, look at that. Two letters. Ot, sk, ot, Scott, Scott. I bet that's the name of the boy in our story. Scott, that's someone's name. And if I take this C out of there, that k, k sound, I take that out, and instead I put this in there. Look at that. Spot, spot, spot. Not the name of a dog, I hope. I don't know. We'll look for the word spot in our story. So are you guys ready to read the story? We have our sight words. We know the word family that's going to be in this story. How about we bring Critter back and we look at the story? Is that okay? All right. Okay. Let me get, well, first, let's see. I'm gonna go run over here and get Critter. Let me go run around and see if I can find him. Here I go. I'm moving to get Critter. And got him. Oh, Critter, I got you. I got you. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Come on up here. Oh, you're so, oh, you're so limber and stuff. I can't believe it. Oh. Hey. <laughs> I was just taking a nap over there. I, I hope. Are you guys still there? Hmm. Oh, good, 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 good. Okay, uh, what are we going to do now? Uh, well, we're going to read our story. Now, Critter, I need, let's see if we can do this. I have our story right here, but it's kind of far away. I know the boys and girls are going to have their, they're going to have their piece of paper at home that they're looking at, but maybe can I move the camera up closer? Oh, uh, you get my good side. Hmm. Oh, that, that's your good side, huh? Okay, let's see if I can do this. I'm going to pull my camera up closer. Is that better? Oh, hello there. I'm still here. Okay, Critter. Now, you can help me read this story here. All right. Now, you guys have your pages at home. We're gonna start up at the top. This is the title of our story. The Hot Pot. The Hot Pot, that sounds dangerous. Oh, well, well let's see what goes on in here, okay, Critter? Okay, okay, keep reading. Okay, here we go. First, let's look at the little picture over here. What's this boy doing over here? Ah, uh, he looks like he's uh, one of those cooks or chefs on TV. He, uh, uh, he's mixing up something in a bowl. Yeah, you're right, he is. Uh, now, let's see. His name must be Scott, because I have the name Scott right here. Scott likes to cook a lot. Scott Scott likes to cook a lot. Hmm, I guess he does. Okay, now, let's, what is that a picture of there, Critter? 
Uh, that's a big pot. Ooh, yep, I know that word is gonna be in this sentence then. Let's see, ooh, I see this, there it is. Scott, Scott cooks with a pot. Scott cooks with a pot. I see some of our sight words in there too. I, I see those guys too. Okay, uh, keep reading. I wanna know what happens with this pot and that kid Scott. Okay, here we go. Look at this one. Look at that, look at that, those waves coming out of that pot. What does that mean? Uh, that looks like it might be spaghetti cooking in there. Well, it means it's hot. It looks like some, some steam is coming out of there. Here we go. The pot got hot. Uh-oh. Well, yeah, pots get hot if you were cooking in them. Hmm. Uh, now, wait a second here. Take a look at this next picture. That means no. When you see a circle like that with a slash through it at a diagonal, and what is that person doing there? Uh, it looks like they're going to touch the pot, but that circle says don't touch. You're right. That says don't touch a hot pot. So let's see what this says. Now, look, Critter, you see these little tiny little slash slash over here and way over there at the beginning and the end of that sentence? Those are quotation marks. That means somebody's speaking there. They're, that's their voice. When you read that, you're going to be, well, if you were reading a story, you'd do it in somebody's voice. So if that was a mama's voice, you might make a mama's voice. Or if it was a monster telling him, <laughs> You'd hear that. Hey, that kind of sounded like my uh, cousin or something. Well, let's see what this says. So somebody is speaking. Do not touch the pot, Scott. And there's an exclamation mark there, meaning they're really saying it, like with a lot of feeling. Do not touch the pot, Scott. Uh-oh. I hope this guy, Scott, is being careful. Hmm. I don't have time to take him to the doctor. Hmm. Okay. Uh-oh. What is this hand doing, Critter? Uh-oh. Didn't follow directions. I know. I see that finger is touching the pot. Scott touched a spot. Oh, that's that word. Spot. Ought. That's where the word spot came in. Scott touched a spot. I think there's going to be a burn finger here. I think you're right. Now, here are those quotation marks again at the end. It is hot, said Scott. Look at that picture. Now he has an oven mitt on. He must have touched it with his other hand. It is hot, said Scott. <laughs> you know, that's kind of a sad story. Well, no, it's, it, it's just, it, it works perfect for our, what we were needing in, to do, which was learn about the ought word family. So Critter, let's see, let's move back so I can, we can see each other and we're, we're going to move back just a little bit. Ooh, you guys are going far away now. Hey, Critter, come on. Uh, come on up here. Uh, hey, is that your leg that was up on my shoulder? <laughs> I'm very flexible, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, silly, silly, silly. Enough silliness. How about we read the story one time through and just to finish off, okay? So the kids can practice it at home. Okay, uh, uh, go ahead and read it. I'll just watch. The Hot Pot. Scott likes to cook a lot. Scott cooks with a pot. The pot got hot. Do not touch the pot, Scott. Scott touched a spot. It is hot, said Scott. Yep, he still 
touched it the second time. No, that was just me rereading the story. So, I, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this little reading lesson with Critter. And, uh, yep, I know they did. Uh, they had to because it was with me. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, Critter will join us next time for our next reading lesson next week, I think. Mm-hmm. Yes, I will. Um, you guys practice the sheet of the hot pot, and I promise next week it will be a less uh, dangerous story. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Okay. You guys have a great week. Practice this story. Read it to Mom and Dad. Bye-bye.